This is your guide to the National Science Education Standards. Why were these standards created? The National Science Education Standards present a vision of a scientifically literate populace. They outline what students need to know, understand, and be able to do to be a scientifically literate at different grade levels. Scientific literacy is needed to be able to make choices, participate in public debate about important issues, be part of the workforce, and keep the peace in global markets. The National Scientific Education Standards were created by parents, K-12 educators, college faculty, scientists, engineers, and government officials. These standards were created in 1995 using earlier reform efforts research into teaching and learning, accounts of exemplary practice, and their own personal experience and insights. Why are these standards important in science education? According to the standards, all students can develop the knowledge and skills described in the standards, even as some students go well beyond these levels. Basically, the standards enable all students to receive a quality education that is equal. It also provides concrete criteria to guide teaching and holds students, teachers, and school districts accountable for the learning of science. A broad overview. The document has 14 sections. Front matter, R1 to R10. Overview, 1 to 10. Introduction, 11 to 18. Principles and definitions, 19 to 24. Science teaching standards, 27 to 54. Standards for professional development for teachers of science, 55 to 74. Assessment in science education, 75 to 102. Science content standards, 103 to 208. Science education program standards, 209 to 226. Science Education System Standards, 227 to 242. The Epilogue is 243 to 246. The Appendix, 247 to 253. The Index is 254 to 260, and the Credits are 261 to 262. Four important principles to focus on are the Principles and Definitions, Science Content Standards, Science Education Program Standards, and science education system standards. Further explanations of these sections. In front matter, overview, and the introduction, you can find who created the national standards document and why it was created. Front matter also includes important information like publishing information, acknowledgments, and the table of contents. The section on principles and definitions contains four principles and their definitions that guided the creation of this document. Number one, science is created for all students. Two, learning science is an active process. Three, school science reflects the intellectual and cultural traditions that characterize the practice of contemporary science. Number four, improving science education is part of a systemic education reform. The Science Teaching Standards section describe what teachers of science at all grade levels should understand and be able to do. The Standards for Professional Development for Teachers of Science section outlines what is considered effective professional development. Assessment in Science Education outlines how teachers can measure their students' progress towards scientific literacy. The Science Context Standards are comparable to the Michigan Glicks. They give examples of what students should know in each of the eight categories of science. The science education program standards are aimed at maintaining the quality of each K-12 science program in each school district, and the science education system standards provides criteria for judging the performance of the components of the science education system responsible for providing schools with necessary financial and intellectual resources. How can you use this in your classroom? You can use this content standards as a starting place when deciding what science concepts to teach. It can also help you make your lesson plans age appropriate because it outlines ideas by grade level. 
It also provides ideas for effective and practical assessment. For more information, you can visit www.nap.edu. Thank you for watching our presentation, and we hope you have a wonderful day.